<laughs> what the fuck? Alright guys, we are finally on the Season 2 finale of Daria. I'm super excited to see what they have in store for us for this final episode. And then it's on to Season 3. La, 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 la. Right where it hurts. <laughs> Guess you're wondering what old dad is up to with the big stew pot. Guess Making again. stew? Daria, I suddenly remembered the old kitchen sink stew they used to serve us at the military. You know why they called it that? Because put they put in everything in. but the kitchen sink. Because they put in everything. Peppercorns, oregano, uh, chilies. <laughs> <laughs> Reading something? Yes. May Obviously. I ask what it is? It's a book. It's on the cover. School. A writer writing a book about how writers should write books. Anything else going on in school? Nobody talked to me again this week. I wasn't invited to any parties for the weekend. And I think I'm getting one of those really painful cold sores. So all in all, another great week. Oh, I was about Daria. to say, it Helen, sounds pretty good Helen, except for the cold what's sores. What's the number for 911? Do you have to look at everything in such a negative light? The harsh light of reality. Tiffany says a cold <laughs> friend is coming through. Has anyone seen my really cute fuzzy pink sweater? And if I can't find Daria. Don't bother. My Drive dog, by Quinn. Dear God, it's black! What Gardner is telling us is that the writer of fiction has a duty that goes beyond the mere telling of a story. Daria. I believe Mr. Gardner feels it's the writer's duty to steer the reader toward more conscientious behavior, no matter how dull that makes the story. I want you each to select a book from the list in front of you for a report on its moral intention. Yes, Kevin? People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. I got one, babe! <laughs> <laughs> this list of books, I've read all of them. Instead of trying to read a story for its moral dimensions, what if you wrote a story with moral dimensions? Um... A special assignment, Daria, <laughs> you fucked just up, for Daria. you. I don't know. <laughs> Why don't you write a story taking people you know and turning them into fictional characters? I wonder if anyone would notice a difference. How's the story coming? Or does it People disturb are gonna me realize she's writing. writing about it them, and they're gonna get pissed at her. It would disturb me if I were actually doing any writing. What's the problem? Take people you know and have them do whatever you want. I'd make them crawl, I tell you. Crawl! <laughs> Easy, tiger. <laughs> Who are you gonna write about? How about Kevin and Brittany? You need to start wearing a hat when you go out in the sun. <laughs> Boy, would I like to be there when those two tie the noose. Do you, Kevin, assume legal responsibility for this overripe specimen of femalehood? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? What about their wedding? Wouldn't that be funny to write about? Uh, no. If I were gonna write about mating rituals, I think I'd go back a couple hundred years when women either married or shriveled up and blew away. Instead of marrying and then shriveling up like they do now. Mother said he appeared most anxious to call upon you. I cannot imagine what for. He's flaky. Flaky though he may be. I would hope that whoever does become Lady Lane does so out of regard for Mr. Lane and not for his estate. What about his car? car. He approaches Mr. Lane himself along with his sister's admirer, Mr. Moreno. I pray the day finds you well. Yeah. And a good morning to you, sirs. What errand is it that finds you guys abroad? We await the other members of our hunting party, and I believe I glimpse them now. Oh, no. Good cheer, good day, Miss, Miss Quinn. Quinn. Good, good, cheer. Cheer. <laughs> good day, Miss Quinn. Good day. Miss Quinn. Oh, Quinn, your suitors are so numerous because you are so fair and good. <laughs> your wit and judgment assure that you will marry not only well. Did she say marry? Yeah. <laughs> I really <laughs> suck at this. That was some interesting <laughs> scenarios. No. I wonder how many random scenarios we're gonna get this episode as she tries to come up with a story for class. <laughs> These are pretty interesting and kind of random. Oh my god, what has your father done now? I think still cooking. Jake! 
Is something wrong? I'm supposed to write a story using people I know as fictional characters. Everything I write comes out bad. Oh, I'm sure. <coughs> no, that's not a counteroffer. It's an insult. Goodbye. What are the other students writing? They're not. This is an extra assignment just for me. Ooh! A punishment for being smart. Now, come on, Daria. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do a great job. All you... Tomorrow, during office hours. When Quinn has a challenge... Quinn? All her challenges involve coordinating her shoes with the color of her date's eyes. <laughs> Daria, what I mean... She'll never have this kind of problem. It involves thinking. You make me tell you what's wrong in between calls, and then you bring up Quinn? Don't you know me at all? Damn. Man, what a good day to just kick back and chill. Quinn, don't you think you've taken this popularity thing too far? Don't you have any depth at all? Why can't you be Damn. more like Daria? Well, not everyone can have the same. Don't you think I want to be more like Daria? Don't you think I would if I could? <laughs> Sorry, Mom and Dad, I'll never be like Daria. Jake's look is killing me right now. <laughs> so distracting. It's hilarious. We should at least tell her about that eight-lane highway they built outside the house during the night. Hmm. You may be right. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Ow! God! At least she's still alive. <laughs> Another masterpiece. I can't write. I can't produce a simple story. I can come up with all sorts of ideas, but none of them feels true. Well, what's your definition of true? Something. About something. Let me get this straight. You're telling me you want to write something, not just anything, that says something about, about something. something. Right. Yes. Gee, <laughs> who'd ever believe you're having trouble communicating? I need some time alone to work out my feelings. Daria! Or do a crossword. My stove, the stove's on fire! Oh my god, oh, for the Jake. Tell me what you see in your filthy brew. Have you my payment? The tender liver of a newborn babe. Will you take a check? A check? <laughs> Tell me you can bring me power to crush my enemies to triumph over it all. Why should men get all the good jobs? Tell me you can bring me power. Power to crush my enemies. I can't wait to taste this stew. <laughs> I swear by the unholy imp that spawned you. What do I get to rule? Jake the witch. The bog witch. Silence, <laughs> toothless hat. How's the special assignment going? I'd like not to do it. Oh, no! What's the matter, Daria? It's not up to my standards. And that disturbs me because I don't have standards. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> I can't figure out what my characters should be doing. Okay. We'll alter the assignment slightly. We'll say it should include an activity of some kind. A forest fire? That could end in tragedy. <laughs> some kind of orthoscopic surgery? I know. A game of cards. Gee, thanks. That'll really help. So there's a western setting in the scenario that could still end in tragedy. Tell me what the mists of time hold for me. Have you my payment? The tender liver of a newborn babe. I'm a little short on livers. Tell you what, <laughs> play you a quick game of five card stud for it. <laughs> I'm just wondering how the kitchen sink stew scenario, the, the side plot's gonna play out. <laughs> Plus Jake and those past two scenarios. <laughs> One, I thought it was going to be Helen and Jake as teenagers. <laughs> but then Quinn came in as their, you know, normal age. And I'm like, why is, <laughs> why is Jake dressed that way? And then when he became the bog witch, <laughs> that was pretty damn funny. Doria, the TV's not on. Shh. I'm watching this. <laughs> Daria, I'm sorry about Been not there. being more sensitive earlier. Doesn't comparing one sibling to another get you an automatic F? That's the problem. There's no course that can teach you to be a perfect mother. That's obvious. Daria, I Damn, apologize Daria. for not helping you before. My story sucks. 
Well, honey, I'm sure if you just give it another day or two... Everything I do has already been done. How about describing what you'd like to see? Honestly. What's hard for you is being honest about your wishes. About the way you think things should be, not the way they are. You gloss over it with a cynical joke and nobody finds out what you really believe in. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> so my evil plan is working. If you really want to be honest, be truthful about what you'd like to happen. Okay, There's Helen. a challenge. When the hell did you learn so much about me? You give birth to someone, you just get an urge to keep tabs on them. <laughs> How are you, Mom? Pretty good. You know, every morning it's a little harder to get out of bed. Your father, on the other hand, seems to be getting younger every day. Well, triple bypass surgery will do that for a man. <laughs> How's Margello? Fighting the same old curriculum battles, and each fall there's a new batch of freshmen to potty train. I enjoyed your <laughs> column this week. I get outraged, the readers get outraged, and nothing happens. Sometimes I think I should have gone into television. Has there been any further discussion about expanding your little family? Mom, the whole idea makes me uneasy, and I'm not sure why. Give me that! No, me it's that. mine! Bye. Mommy! Oh, yeah. Boy, I'm exhausted. Breast implants for I'm chicken. having so much not sex. Not that! <laughs> How are you, Quinn? Another day, another baby. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, one of these days I'm gonna slip something into Jamie's beer, and while he's unconscious, I'm gonna go out and get my tubes tied. Better yet, <laughs> yeah. his tubes. Hey, you know, girls, I was going over my will. Not again. But I like going over my will. It's got all that money. And it occurred to me that you girls have turned out exactly the way I hoped. Come on. Every week, you write that column of yours, trying to wake people up to the truth. There is some pleasure in winning awards for saying the same things that made me an outcast in high school. And Quinn, you've taken <laughs> all that energy and enthusiasm Narnia you used to direct to be toward being um, a teensy bit self-absorbed. Oh, Daddy, I was a stuck-up little nightmare. And put it all into bringing up those kids. Well, I was having so much fun reminiscing, I thought, why don't we get together for a family card game just like we used to? <laughs> I was wondering family how this would incorporate game. the cards. We never played a family card game in our lives. Do I? I hear that. <laughs> I remember asking my father to play Go Fish! Triple we bypass, go. Dad. Okay, I'm all right. Bridge? Gin. Hearts. Done. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to play a game of hearts. How about it, Daria? Hearts? Deal me in. Oh, Daria. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> stop, stop. So your story made your mother cry? Out of happiness. That's the sick part. And read the reason by me again? <laughs> she took it as evidence that I'm secretly not as alienated as I seem or something. Now that you've got such a great attitude and everything, can I have your boots? <laughs> yeah, turn around and I'll give you one right now. Do you think I can read your story? You can read the one where you run away with Kevin. What? <laughs> la, 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 la. That's <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, Daria was savage this episode. <laughs> Trying to write that story was really fucking with her. Um, but that was pretty fun to see it, all those uh, scenarios. <laughs> but I really, I wanted to see what the teacher was going to say about it. I thought we were going to see what Mr. O, what, what he was going to say. I, uh, I didn't know where that episode was going, but, uh, but I did really enjoy it. But yeah, that was kind of an optimistic... Um, story she wrote. I can see why her mom uh, had the reaction she did. <laughs> and Eldaria's like, fuck, they're on to me. I gotta be... <laughs> I gotta be more cynical than ever. <laughs> so there was actually some meta jokes in this episode. That was pretty interesting. That was the part about uh, turning the people she knows into fictional characters, and then in that final scenario, her going into television. <laughs> and so, yeah, <laughs> here we are on uh, the precipice of season three. But yeah, you guys let me know what you thought of this episode down below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.